Hi guys, my name's Sam from Website Right, and in this video I want to talk to you about Wix and migrating your blog over to WordPress. Now, Wix is all well and good, it serves a purpose. Um, there is a link in the description to a blog post that I wrote which explains why I think web builders like Wix are not too great. However, for web newbies, it's okay, but if you're continuing to persevere with it, you may at some point reach a crossroads where you think, right, do I stick with this? or do I move to WordPress? Now, if you do decide to move to WordPress, you might find the process a little bit tricky because there's no real way to migrate from A to B unless you use a paid service. But in this video, if you've got a Wix blog, I'm gonna tell you how you can move all your content over and it takes less than five minutes. Watch this. Right, so I've got a client here who's called uh, Lisa, and this is her Wix website, and she's been relatively happy with it, but she now knows that she needs to move it all over to WordPress. So I've created her WordPress site for her. It's a bridge theme, which I'll put the link in the description for you, because I've recommended it a number of times. I think it's fantastic. But at the moment, of course, it has no content. So we need to get the content from Wix. So this is a Wix website address. And what we need to do is put a forward slash at the end of it and type in feed.xml. So that's forward slash feed.xml. And look what we have here. We've got an XML feed that contains all of her blog posts here. So in your browser, if you just go to file and then save page as, you should be able to then save that as an XML file. So that's feed.xml. So I'm going to save that to my desktop. So that is all done. And then I'm gonna go into my WordPress install and there are two plugins that we need to now download. The first of which will basically take the Wix hosted images and convert them to host them on your server. So what we'll do is uh, we'll type in external images on the plugin search here within WordPress. And the one that we need is this one, auto upload images. So Click install now, and it'll take around 10 to 15 seconds to install. And once you've done that, you can click activate. So that's the first of our plugins that we need. Also, click add new again. The next one we need is one called all import. Now I swear by this plugin, it's absolutely fantastic because you can import blogs, all sorts of different post types, pages, and a lot, lot more into WordPress using all sorts of different types of files from a spreadsheet using an xml file and much more so this is what we need click install now and then once it's installed make sure you activate it so i've got the xml file and i've got those two plugins now all installed so we should be able to click on all import on the left hand side here and then i can go to new import so we're going to do that now and then I'm going to click upload a file and I can select the feed.xml file that I've previously downloaded. And then I'm just going to say, yes, it's going to create new posts with this. So continue to step two. And here you can just cycle through all of those different posts just to make sure it's got it all right. But yep, there are 42 different blog posts here, so we can continue here straight to step three and this is where we need to do the bulk content for our post so what we need to do we need to put the title in the top box here so we'll just hold down on title here and then drag it across into title uh, we also need to put the content in there as well now see that's got html in there so what we need to do rather than have it on visual mode put it on text mode in the editor and then we'll click on the main content of the post and drag it across. We'll do the excerpt, with the, which in this case is the description. We'll drag it across here. Now, this is an important part, it's the images. So what we need to do, we need to scan through the post content and import the images wrapped in image tags. So what this will do is actually take the Wix hosted images 
download them and then there will be no references to your Wix images on your blog post. It'll all be self-hosted. So we'll click this button there, the checkbox. And then also what we need to do, if we want to allocate it to a category here, we can, but I'm gonna do that afterwards and you'll be able to see how to do this in a different video. I'll pop the link in the description when it's done. The other post options that you need to add in are the date as well. So at the moment, if I was to import all of the blogs on the feed, it would actually show as today's date, which we don't want. So we'll delete it and then we'll take the pub date part here. Remember we click and hold down and then we just drag it on this section. Sometimes it can be a bit funny, but there we go. Let's click, drag, and we've got the publishing date there too. So that is all very well and good. You can also set other options should you wish to. I'm going to set it as a standard post format. This will be determined by your theme. So this part may not be there. And then we can continue to step four. Just auto detect the unique identifier here, and then you can just proceed to click continue. And then we need to confirm and run import. So that is now going through. Now it looks as though nothing is really happening because it says 0% for quite a while, but it is slowly iterating through and it'll update you at 50% and then at 100%. But do remember for each blog that it's actually importing into your site, it's downloading the image from Wix, it's uploading it to your server and then changing the references in the blog post file name as well. So we're gonna fast forward a bit and see how long this takes. So you can see in this particular import, this has taken three minutes 43 to do 42 blog posts. So it's all complete now. So let's just check uh, our blog posts just to have a look at what they look like. So we'll go to posts and then all posts here. And then what we can do is we can just click on one of the posts as an example. And this is in the HTML mode at the moment, but look here, can you see that it's referencing the file that's actually on our server now? So no reference to Wix. And then if we go to visual mode, you can see it is all there. Now, one thing this has not done is allocate it to a category and it's not got a featured image, but there are also cheeky ways where you can actually take the first image from your blog post and make it a featured image all automated. But there we go. There are a total now of 42 blogs on our WordPress install and we're nearly all ready to go. So that's how easy it is. So there we go. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, thumbs up will be great. And remember to subscribe as well because there's loads of tips coming your way. Hit the notification bell and you can be alerted to when there's new updates. Happy New Year.